Hello, my dear students. I hope you all have been doing well. Today we are going to discuss about ligand receptor theories, or simply you can also say that uh, receptor theories. In my previous lecture, I have explained you that uh, um, what are ligands and what are receptor, and I also told that. Uh, to understand about these receptor theories, we should have to know first about what are ligands and what are receptors. And uh, for your convenience, I am also again going to um, a little bit uh, revise uh, about both ligand and uh, receptor. So, receptor are any protein or non-protein molecule that is uh, in found to be embedded in uh, either in the plasma membrane it may be present in the cytoplasm or it may be present in the nucleus and uh, what do this receptor do it mediates the extracellular signals of the ligand to the intracellular side of the receptor and enables cell to perform cellular activity and what is uh, um, uh, ligand? Ligand is uh, any uh, protein or non-protein molecule. It may be exogenous molecule. It may be endogenous molecule. It may be any uh, neurotransmitter, hormone in nature, or uh, it may be any drug. It may be xenobiotic. It may be virus. It may be bacteria. What is ligand? Ligand is any molecule that is having a signal. We can also say ligand as a signal and actually it is a protein, maybe protein, maybe non-protein, maybe virus, maybe bacteria, maybe uh, endogenous molecule, maybe exogenous molecule, maybe uh, uh, any drug that bind with the receptor and initiate an intracellular activity and enable cell to perform uh, its work or to uh, initiate cellular activity means to initiate cellular response so a ligand is any molecule that bind with the receptor and uh, initiate an intracellular activity and due to this in intracellular activity cell produce its response so now we will uh, see that what does mean by receptor theory. Receptor theories are actually these are postulates or these are the hypotheses of uh, different scientists and that explain the action of ligand on receptor. So, so these th theories explain how ligand will behave when it will bind with the receptor. It means either uh, ligand uh, will uh, inhibit the activity of receptor or uh, ligand will uh, stimulate the receptor to per perform its activity or ligand will uh, desensitize the receptor. So we will, uh, I will explain you one by one what is the receptor desensitization, what is receptor stimulation. So we all know that when a drug binds with the receptor, this drug receptor complex uh, initiate a response and uh, why uh, this response initiated, this response is initiated because this drug receptor complex initiate an intracellular activity. As I previously explained you in my previous lecture how uh, a drug receptor complex works. And what is the mechanism of a receptor? Uh, the mechanism of receptor is that when the ligand will bind with the receptor, then this receptor will initiate an intracellular activity, and the intracellular activity will uh, uh, allow the cell to perform its uh, cellular activity, or the cellular it will give this cellular response. So this is that intracellular activity that is. Uh, um, uh, enable cell to response and this intracellular activity and response we term as receptor in, in, in stimulation means uh, how receptor get stimulated receptor get stimulated after binding the drug with the receptor or after binding any endogenous or any other exogenous ligand with the receptor 
when any exogenous and any endogenous uh, uh, ligand will bind with the receptor receptor get stimulated means receptor receptor start its intracellular um, activity that will enable cell to give a response or to give a cellular activity so this uh, here in the case we are taking an example of a drug so when drug will bind with receptor this drug receptor complex uh, will initiate a, an intracellular activity and thus uh, that intracellular activity will give uh, a cell a response this response we term as the receptor stimulation or we will say that receptor get stimulated means receptor get started to perform its activity or receptor is giving its activity and the active what is the activity of a, a cell the activity means uh, um, cell division cell proliferation activity is any uh, message that this drug or signal is carrying so here is the example of this drug maybe here drug could be any uh, means uh, here can be uh, any other ligand here is the drug is the in the form of ligand of this receptor so when this ligand means the drug is binding with the receptor it is producing a response and we say this response as receptor stimulation but we will see here what is uh, how uh, uh, this uh, uh, the drug uh, acts as agonist and antagonist and what are these from this receptor stimulation that i have already explained you in my previous slides are this means here we can see that any uh, uh, any ligand that could be natural or natural endogenous or exogenous substance when will bind with this receptor it will initiate a cellular activity so it is a uh, it is a natural stimulation of the receptor before the drug is binding to the receptor but you, uh, you know this is happening in the case of the normal uh, means a normal condition where, when there is not any disease but when there is disease we know that the uh, a cell uh, uh, we are needing any drug from outside our body or outside the cell so this drug will bind with the receptor and if the drug is uh, uh, initiating the cellular response that is cellular response or cellular activity that will be the as uh, similar magnitude with the uh, previous endogenous ligand so this uh, um, drug will say as agonist so you are understanding what does mean by agonist agonist actually is a dr drug that we take from the outside of the cell or it is a, an exogenous substance we but when we take this endo, exogenous substance drug is a, any endo means exogenous substance it is a like a ligand of a receptor so uh, what this drug do if this drug will bind with the receptor and will enhance the activity of the uh, receptor or the cell with the similar ma magnitude uh, as uh, the receptor was performing before this uh, drug so this drug is uh, will be called as it is agonist however if the drug will bind the receptor and stop the activity of the receptor so we will say this drug is antagonist and what is receptor desensitization when uh, this receptor this uh, sensitization is the reduction of the response due to the repeated exposure of a receptor to identical dose of a drug what does mean when we take the same dose of, of a drug for a longer period of time what does uh, what will happen the drug will go inside and will bind its uh, receptor and produce its activity then we again uh, take the drug uh, similar uh, same amount of drug uh, after few hours or few, few time period then the drug again will bind the receptor and produce its its activity 
then again if uh, we will take the drug it will go inside the body and it will bind with the receptor and it will produce the res uh, response so a time period will come uh, when the uh, when what happened drug will when the drug will bind with the receptor what will happen the receptor means will not give its full response so we it we or will not give any response so we say it desensitization of receptor when receptor means it is stop to give its response or to initiate intracellular activity or uh, to uh, stop to give any response or any cellular activity either drug have bind with the receptor and why this desensitization means uh, happen this desensitization happen due due to the repeated exposure of a receptor with the drug now coming towards uh, the receptor theories uh, we will study about the class of propensity theory, the rate theory, and the tool state model. Uh, and these uh, uh, all three theories describe uh, when uh, a ligand binds with the receptor. So, how this ligand behave means either this ligand will act as agonist, either will uh, this ligand will uh, act as uh, antagonist, or if it will uh, be act as uh, agonist and uh, how uh, it is uh, this uh, if uh, the uh, receptor um, ligand if uh, the ligand will uh, stimulate the receptor and how it uh, stimulate the receptor or when it is stimulate the receptor or if uh, or how it will desensitize the receptor so taking uh, i will explain you one by one about each this theory what and uh, we will see how these uh, theories are uh, linked with ligand receptor interaction so first theory is the uh, class of propensity theory and this theory states that the intensity of the response at any time is proportional to the number of the receptor occupied by the drug so and the greater the number occupied the greater the pharmacological effect that is response effect e will be directly proportional to the drug receptor complex i will explain you this th uh, theory here this class So, starting from Clark's occupancy theory, this uh, uh, Clark was a scientist uh, who, uh, in 1934, described a theory that described the behavior of a full agonist. So, what is a, an agonist? Agonist is a drug that binds with a receptor and uh, initiate a response. But if a drug, what is full agonist? If drug is binding the receptor and uh, initiating the response, that will be the similar extent as the endogenous binding of our ligand with the drug. So it will be full agonist, means the drug is fully activating the receptor. When drug is fully activating the receptor, it will uh, be full agonist. But if the drug will be partially activating the receptor, so it will be the partial agonist. So, Clark's uh, occupancy theory described the behavior of full agonist, uh, and Clark stated that the in intensity of the response at any time will be the proportional to the number of receptors occupied by the drug. Means, if uh, uh, the greater a number of uh, receptors occupied with the drug, so the uh, response will be the greater and if lesser number of receptor will be occupied by the drug the response will be lesser so clarks explain the uh, linear relationship between the ligand 
receptor binding and the response of the drug. Ms. Kilas explained that the uh, ligand binding the receptor, the number of ligand binding with the receptor will, uh, will be proportional to its uh, response. And according to the uh, class, a maximum response would be obtained when all the receptors were occupied. Means uh, when the all receptor present in the cell for that drug occupied with the, the drug, so the receptor will be maximum. But if the uh, some receptor are present that were not bind with the ligand, so response will not be maximum. So, my dear students, I hope you understand about the class theories. I will explain you, you about the rate theory. Um, this theory describes the receptor stimulation. And this theory um, uh, describes that uh, the stimulus was produced only when the ligand first occupied the receptor site. And the receptor is still bind with the uh, uh, receptor site, the stimulation does not continue. Even the stimulus site was still occupied. Means what is the stimulus? Stimulus is a ligand. This rate theory explained that if a ligand will bind with the receptor, so the receptor will uh, stimulate only when the receptor, the ligand binds first time with the receptor. But if the ligand uh, remain bind, means what happened in drug receptor binding, drug bind with the receptor, and then this drug receptor complex uh, initiate the uh, response. But uh, uh, rate theory explained that uh, when a ligand or the drug will bind with the receptor first time and this ligand detach from the receptor. So in this case, the stimulus will produce when the ligand bind first time with this receptor. But if the ligand bind with the receptor and remain bind for a longer period of time, so the stimulus will not remain continue. The stimulus only continue at that time when the First time ligand or the drug or the stimulus will bind to the receptor. But we have to see that why uh, if the uh, ligand or the stimulus here in the in this case uh, in rate theory the stimulus means a ligand. So now we will see we understand that what uh, receptor theory is explaining. The receptor theory explains that the only receptor will uh, means uh, get stimulated with the first uh, binding of the ligand with the receptor. As the ligand or the stimulus bind with the receptor, the receptor will give the response. But if the uh, ligand or stimulus uh, will remain bind with the receptor, the receptor will not uh, means remain stimulated. So we have to see that why it will happen that if the uh, stimulus remain bind with the receptor, so this uh, re receptor will not get, uh, remain stimulated. Why? Uh, so this theory also explain this situation. Why not uh, receptor remain stimulated if the stimulus will remain bind with the receptor? Why? Because this is because the receptor undergoes a second conformational change which result in its in inactivation. So my dear students, I, as I have already explained you in my uh, uh, previous lecture that was about the receptor. So uh, I told you there when the, when the ligand bind will be receptor, so there will, uh, there will be a conformational change in the receptor that enable uh, the ligand to be fit this ligand into the receptor site of the receptor. So that will be the first uh, conformational change when a ligand or the stimulus will bind with a receptor in its receptor site. 
because when a ligand or in uh, any drug will uh, be uh, will bind with the receptor in the receptor site so it will bind in the receptor site after the conformational change of the receptor because not always or not all the part of lichen uh, will be complementary to the receptor site so, uh, as i have explained you previous in my previous slide when our drug is bind with the receptor um, uh, it will make a complex but for making this complex the ligand should have to be complementary with the uh, receptor site and uh, when the this uh, complementary site of the ligand will bind with the receptor site in the receptor so some some uh, some portion of the ligand is exactly same the uh, receptor site by but other uh, portion of the ligand is not complementary so what happened uh, there will be uh, conformational change in the receptor that enable uh, the ligand to be fit perfectly in the receptor site so that was the first conformational change and here we are talking about the second conformational change so second conformational change when it this second conformational change will happen and what this second conformational change will do uh, this uh, this is explained by the rate theory how uh, the rate theory explain this second conformational change rate theory is saying this when the drug as in the form of stimulus or any signal first will bind with the uh, receptor so this receptor give a signal means the receptor give its intracellular activity or intracellular response but if the receptor uh, with, with will remain bind with the drug so what will happen there will be the uh, means permanent uh, uh, binding of a drug will be receptor with the receptor and due to this permanent binding what will happen this receptor uh, get permanently inactive why this will get permanently inactive because uh, the receptor there will be some conformational change second conformational change in the receptor uh, due to that this uh, ligand permanently fit get fit in the receptor and will not remove from the receptor site after stimulating the receptor so what will happen in the uh, in, uh, case of uh, drug receptor binding drug bind with the receptor stimulate the receptor and detach from the receptor and uh, uh, what uh, uh, and uh, what uh, is happening here in the receptor theory this receptor theory is, is stating that when uh, 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 only uh, receptor will give uh, its uh, stimulation when drug first bind with the receptor stimulate the receptor and detach from it but if in the case the uh, drug remain bind with the receptor the second receptor binding means this binding of the uh, prolonged binding of the receptor with the uh, uh, drug will induce a second conformational change in the receptor due to this second conformational change the drug receptor binding complex will be means the drug receptor binding will be the permanent binding and then due to this the receptor will not produce any uh, further stimulation so it is also likely that the second conformational change enhance the binding of the agonist to the site resulting in a more stable drug receptor complex that i have already explained you that if the uh, stimulus or the drug will remain bind with the receptor so there will be second conformational change in the receptor that will be stable uh, change and this due to this this stable change the receptor uh, remain bind with this drug and uh, and permanently get inactive so what will happen uh, happen cons uh, consequently as long as the ligand is bound to the receptor the receptor is unable to produce a further stimulus means how how much time the receptor will remain bind with the drug the drug 
will not produce any further stimulus. Means the drug just produce stimulus only one time as the ligand bind with the receptor. And as soon as the ligand uh, detach from the receptor, it returns to its normal conformation. <clears throat> As a result, further stimulation of the receptor can now occur. So, what you understand uh, with this red theory, this red theory explains the stimulation of the receptor or how the drug will stimulate the receptor. This theory explains that, that only receptor get stimulated when the drug bind with the receptor transfer its signal to the receptor and detach from it if the drug will remain bind with the receptor what will happen the receptor get perman permanently inactive and will not give any other stimulus until and unless this drug will remain bind with the receptor to produce another response from this receptor the drug should have to detach from this receptor and again should have to bind with the receptor. Now, my dear students, uh, we are uh, uh, we are going to discuss about the third theory that is the two-state model as the name of this theory is explaining. This is about uh, the two-state of the receptor that is one, uh, one state is the relaxed state of the receptor and other state is the uh, tense state of the receptor and uh, now we will see that uh, what this uh, theory is uh, going to describe about the relaxed state of the receptor and the tense state uh, of the receptor and uh, how it will describe uh, the interaction of the drug uh, with these two state of the uh, receptor. So this theory is a, a model that is a simple uh, linear model uh, to describe the interaction between a ligand and its receptor means this, this uh, theory is a, uh, is a simple model that describes linear relationship of binding of a drug with its receptor and this uh, uh, theory is based on the concept that the receptor can exist in either an active state or an inactive state. The active state is known as the relaxed or the R state, while the inactive state is referred to as the tense or T state. So this theory proposes that the ligand binding results in a change in the receptor state from an inactive to an active state. That this uh, um, changing of the uh, receptor state from the inactive or active state will be based on the receptor conformation means if when if the drug will bind with the receptor if the conformational change will be uh, uh, in such a way that it can activate the receptor so the receptor will be activated or when the ligand bind with the receptor and the receptor uh, do the conformational change uh, in itself so if the conformational ch change will be on that sort of uh, uh, um, form in that uh, they will inactive, they inactivate the receptor so receptor will get inactivated. This theory uh, uses an equilibrium uh, dissociation constant to describe the interaction between ligand and the receptor and what this dissociation constant explain this uh, dissociation constant explain uh, in the absence of any uh, ligand uh, the receptor of the same type will consist of an equilibrium mixtures of receptor in both R and T state. So I will make simplified uh, again uh, uh, this theory for you. Uh, this two state model actually describes the receptor two state. One is the R state that is the relaxed state and other is the T state that is the uh, tense state and this theory will say uh, uh, is um, uh, this theory described that the receptor or uh, the drug will bind with the active state and then uh, uh, and when the drug will bind with the active state what happened this drug will uh, means stimulate the intracellular activity of the receptor and the enable the cell to perform its work and uh, this theory also um, uh, <clears throat> state that if the drug 
uh, will not bind with the receptor means if the receptor will not bind with any drug so in this case the receptor will be present in the body in equilibrium of the uh, tense state or the relaxed state so uh, dear students uh, uh, i have explained you all the receptor theories and now you know that what is the ligand what is the receptor and what are the receptor theories and uh, uh, i i explain means i am again simplifying you for your ease the receptor is a molecule that is either protein in nature or non uh, protein in nature that is uh, either present in the uh, cytoplasm or the cell membrane or the nucleus and this receptor is a molecule that transfer the signal of a ligand from outside this outside the cell to the inside of the cell and what is a ligand ligand is a molecule that is a signal that uh, 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 enable a receptor to initiate an intercellular activity and due to this intercellular activity the cell will uh, perform its work and what are the receptor theories receptor theories are different postulates of scientists that describe the uh, uh, binding of the ligand with the receptor or that describe the interaction of the ligand with the receptor means how the ligand will bind with the receptor or if the uh, ligand is binding to the receptor uh, the uh, what the receptor how the receptor will behave either a receptor will going to perform the work or it is going to stop its work or um, on the basis of the work of the receptor the ligand uh, may be classified as agonist antagonist and um, uh, um, Full ag agonist, partial agonist. So, if the these receptor theories describe that uh, how uh, receptor get stimulated when the uh, ligand uh, bind with the receptor, or uh, if the receptor get stimulated or it be sensitized. So, when our drug uh, will uh, when a ligand in the first theory we studied uh, that uh, if a drug that is the class theory the class theory uh, uh, explain about the uh, full agonist and class theory explain when the uh, drug will bind with the receptor uh, the uh, uh, the receptor um, get activated and the drug will act like a full agonist means as the drug bind uh, with the receptor the receptor fully uh, activated itself and it will act as a full agonist and second theory was the weight theory that describes about the stimulation of the receptor we it it says that the receptor uh, when the ligand bind with the uh, receptor first time and detach itself so the receptor get stimulated and if the ligand will remain bind with the receptor so the receptor will not remain stimulated means uh, the receptor stop is its activity why because there will be the conformational second conformational change in the receptor due to this second conformational change the receptor will lost its intracellular activity so the second theory that was the rate theory this theory was described that the uh, when uh, when the ligand will bind first time it is stimulate the receptor and then it remain bind with the receptor the receptor get deactivated and will not give any stimulus stimulus and the third theory what uh, that was the um, two state model it describe two state of the receptor that is the active state one is the active state and other is the inactive state the uh, the drug will bind uh, only will be active state this theory states that drug will bind with only with the active state and produce its effect however in absence of any ligand in the body or in the system what will happen this receptor will be present in equilibrium of the active state and inactive state so my dear students i have concluded again for you so you can easily understand about the receptor theories and these are my books uh, you can also concern with this book 
if you are having any problem to understand and thank you very much for your kind attention and allah bless